All right, uh, a lot of new guys asked the question on how to trim a pinstriping brush. Um, when you typically typically get a brand new brush, it has a few squiggly hairs. I can already see one or two here that uh, keep you from getting nice straight corners. And um, some guys like it, get to the old school look. Some guys like nice squared, consistent corners. Um, so uh, this is a Vondego Pro Series 000, but it's similar to a Mac or the King 13, which is a Mac. Um, typically, any of the squirrel tail will probably have to have this trimmed or not, whatever you want. Um, some of the synthetics are good right out of the box. Uh, the scroll brushes, of course, you don't trim those. Um, I take some mineral oil and I run the brush in it really quick just to get the hairs saturated pretty good. Dripping. This is a uh, Elroy pinstriping business card. And then you can kind of just palette it like you would your paint, flipping it over. Working the oil into there, you want to get the oil into the heel right up in here. And that will uh, keep paint from drying and keep your bristles from breaking uh, prematurely. And um, more than anything, it just keeps paint from drying up in there. And uh, I always, always oil my brushes after I'm done. Um, this is my paint box. My brush box, I'm sorry. And all my brushes are just mixed in there, lettering, quills, and liners, and all my brushes, really. But I just keep them all oiled pretty well at all times. Um, so here I can already see that... This little squiggly right down there, it's going to keep you from getting a nice square tip. So once you got the oil in there, kind of get some of it out. You don't want to it'll keep you from getting a nice straight cut. And then I take a brand new, always brand new. Makes a difference, I believe. Now, I just want to trim. It's very difficult to see. But um, just from like this point forward, so all I'll do is I'll lay the blade right where I want it, down, and I'll pull the brush out. And typically it'll give me a nice straight cut. And um, all we're doing is getting rid of that little son of a bitch right there. But let's give it a shot. Let's see if you can see it. So I'll just put it where I think it's going to be. And it's really like millimeters. I push down, I pull out. Now you can see what's left behind. Just that. And now I have a pretty nice consistent tip that's going to pull nice straight lines from the get-go. And what's best is you'll have consistent corners and you won't have any of these flare-outs as much. All right, good luck.